Not falling for your trap, Tane. To the flooded depths, I think we just go deeper into the cave. Alright. I'm sure this is fine. A lot of squid monsters in this cave. It's probably a good time to point out that this is a free game. As far as I know, and I don't know much about it, um, you can pay for things like cosmetics and... Increasing inventory space. Um, and potentially a lot more. I haven't really checked out the store yet. Oh, I'm frozen. Which I'll probably do that uh, off camera when I get a chance. Alright, we reached a dead end. No problem. It's very atmospheric, this game. I like it. I'm liking it so much, or so far. Ooh, a burning arrow. It's a new skill. Fire is a burning arrow that deals fire damage. If it ignites an enemy, it will also inflict an additional debuff for a duration, dealing burning damage based on the magnitude of the ignite. This damage is not affected by your damage modifiers. Up to five of these debuffs can apply simulta simultaneously to an enemy. I don't see why not. Skill can't be used. Well, maybe you have to have bows to use that skill. We'll look into that later. Oh, we got a new type of enemy. New scroll of Wisdom, that's good. We've leveled up gems. Let's do that. And we've leveled up. Can we double back or do we just want to keep going? Let's try to see what uh, Shamanistic Fury, Enduring Bond, Lightning Walker. We don't have lightning damage, so maybe... This isn't the way we want to go. Practical application. 25% chance to avoid interruption from stuns while casting. I feel like maybe this is the direction we want to go. Because we're playing hardcore. We want to have some life just in case anything... Anything dangerous happens. We get ourselves in a predicament, if you will. A little bit of a cushion to run away. So far outside of the metamorph that we summoned yesterday, I don't feel like anything's been too challenging so far in this game. So far, anyway. Portal scroll, you gotta love to see that, I think. We'll try out the portal scroll once we've uh, explored the entirety of this cave. See what it does. Another portal scroll. Let's go this way. Just 
It's rank and file enemies everywhere. Not a problem for fireballs. Oh, click to level up the gem. Let's do that. Let's level up the gem. Those fireballs are uh, one-hitting enemies now. There's a giant crab. Hmm. I think maybe standing there is probably not a good idea. Yep. Okay, you can see the bubbles, bubbles in the water. Dweller of the Deep. So it looks like three zombies is the cap. I'm sure if I read the tooltips, it probably says that right on there. Inventory management. Let's drop... Um... Oh, I really don't want to drop anything. <laughs> Wrapped boots. That's what I just picked up. Those don't seem good at all. So maybe the yellow items aren't very good. Uh... 25% critical strike. I think we'll stick with what we got. What was... Tribal club. Let's drop the tribal club. Alright. Not too impressed with the loot so far, but... We're in an early area cave. Can't be Excalibur down here. Find the Masamune on day one. Can't really expect that. Empty chest. Gotta love that. I feel like... We've almost explored this whole cave. little area up here we haven't looked at yet. A nice little dead end. Perfect. I'm not complaining. I feel like if we clear the cave out, it'll be a, a success. Clear it without dying anyway, right? I think we did it. I can zoom, scroll on the map? Not really. I think we did it. Let's try using um, let's try using a portal scroll. Portal scroll creates a portal to town. Perfect. All right, we're learning. We're learning, earning, and burning. The life of the witch. Be back at. Lion eyes? Yes, we are. All right, let's just toss all this in here for now. I don't think anybody really wants to watch inventory management. Can I just right-click these in? I cannot. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's equip that. Six percent increased evasion rating, eleven percent to cold resistance, seven percent increased stun and block recovery. We'll stick with the maximum life there, it seems good. Put our old staff away. I don't think we want to equip that. And I guess we'll just I'll put these in here too. Our amulet. We'll hang on to the amulet. And we'll put that in there. Good. 
All right, let's head. Ooh, see, we got a quest here. Now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. I was running down a wounded rower one night's eve when I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern. Looked a bit like a sand spitter, only the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it's nesting down in those flooded depths somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor. Spill the old shield crab's guts before it gets hungry and comes looking for us. All right, we got a new spell. Frost Bomb. Are these uh, the same ones we had before? Oh, well, they're definitely slightly different. Targets a corpse and deals spell damage to enemies around the corpse. As well as causing the corpse to explode, dealing fire damage. The explosion is not affected by modifiers to spell damage. It cannot be reflected. Contagion. Unleashes a vile contagion on enemies dealing chaos damage. Over time, if an enemy dies while affected by contagion, it spreads to other enemies. I don't think we're going to go with these two. Summon Raging Spirit. Summons a short-lived raging flaming skull that rushes at nearby enemies and attacks them rapidly. Enemies will not directly engage these spirits. And can pass through them. Let's let's go with that. Kind of fits our fire theme uh, motif we have going. Looks like we get a, an additional gem. Teleport to a location, damaging enemy enemies, and leaving chilled grounds in an area around where you left. Shares a cooldown with other blink skills. Well, select run reward. We have one and reward to choose from. Crab. Let's listen in. Quite the chowder out of it. No matter. We've got one less reason to fear the dark, and I've got one more thing to thank you for. Grants a passive skill point. Yes, please, we'll take that. A job for you, if you're willing. There's a pool near the mud flats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. it. Stinks like a carcass in high summer, but that's not the worst of it. Dead birds walking. Animals don't rise up again the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in that fetid pool. Clear the place out and kill whatever's raising those rowers. We've got enough living dead to contend with. Well, looks like we have a uh, fetid pool we have to clear out. Let's get a free skill point. And let's go with heart and soul. Perfect. Uh, there we go. All right, flop, frost blink. Let's check this out. Do we have a slot open? We don't. Ooh, that's a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Well, let's see if we can find better armor. And head back out to the coast. Do we want to find the fetid pool? I think let's... Let's, uh... Which one of these quests do we want to do? Mercy mission. We still haven't done that. Maybe we should do that. Let's see if we can find... Uh, find Tidal Island. I think... Is it K-H-O... P... J... Achievements Challenges. We'll learn the hotkeys eventually here. Character. How do I open up my this thing? What's the hotkey for this? I think we want to go this way for the Mercy mission. So that's probably down and south, maybe? Cannibals on the loose. It's just a corpse hanging there. I'm starting to feel more confident every minute in our abilities to 
win win this game? I'm not really sure what the goal of the game is. If there's an end or There has to be some kind of final boss and probably uh, you just continue to grind out for better gear, I'm guessing. There's always a final boss, though. A supreme evil. Alright, maybe it's down this way. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Yep, Tidal Island. Perfect. Once you have set up an item filter, you can press Z to view all items. Alright, let's find the uh, medicine here. Be a mana flask. That sounds good. Definitely take that. There's a lot of drowned uh, corpse in the area. Must have been a pretty big pirate ship. I'm sticking with the pirate ship narrative. It could just be a regular ship, but in my mind, it's a pirate ship. Uh, did I want to go down there in the water? I don't think I did. A blacksmith whetstone. Probably increases weapon damage. I feel like these spider crabs got nothing on us. I need more mana. Orb of transmutation. I feel like maybe we were supposed to go to this area before we went to the uh, drowned caves there. Seems slightly easier than the um, the mud mud flats. Okay. I'm not really following that part of the story. Um, maybe it'll become more clear later on about what those shrines mean. Some ground AoE. Oh, we got a named enemy here. Hail Rake? Doesn't have very good aim. I'll say that. Well, there's our medicine chest. Small mana flask. We will, I guess, pick that up. An amulet. Alright, I think we achieved our mission. Let's explore a little bit more here. Just see what's out here. Might take us to another zone, the coast. That's where we came from. Um, let's check in here one more time, real quick. Make sure we didn't. Maybe we explored everything. Be nice if I could scroll this map. Uh, let's assume we got there. Let's use actually, in fact, let's use a portal scroll. I'm not sure if you should be using those like that if they're a rare commodity or. The game's just going to hand me tons of them. All right, Nessa, we did it. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest, it's greater than the serums themselves it holds. It tells us that we can do more in Ray class than merely suffer. I've not much to offer in return, but please, take something and thanks for what you've done. Well, if you're offering, Nessa, I have to take something. 
A medium life flask, that seems good. A quicksilver flask. Let's take the... This is really tempting, especially because the bottle looks so cool. Let's do it. Replace our smallest... Uh... Oh, we get a gem too. Supports any skill that hits enemies or could otherwise apply elemental ailments. Support spell that apply an effect to an area around a targeted location. Oh, supported skills have 25% less area of effect. Supported skills deal 39% less damage. Supported area of effect skills also affect areas in front of and behind the targeted area. I think we're going to... Well, let's see what this is. Use channeling support. No totems? We don't have totems. 51% chance to summon a phantasm when supported skills are non-phantasm minions from supported skills. Deal a killing blow. Okay. Supported skills have a 40% chance to poison on hit. Let's, let's go with the green one because we don't have a green gem yet. So we can... Oh, we do have one. Oh, that's our burning arrow. That doesn't do anything. Um, let's identify this as well. 6% cold resistance. Let's identify the iron gauntlets, because I don't think... Yeah, perfect. We didn't have iron gauntlets. Did we get a new blue slot? We did. So we can equip a... Let's go with the spirit here. Uh, perfect. Uh, what do we want to bind this to? Let's... T, I guess, is good. Did I miss a quest giver there? I think I did. I got distracted. All right, yeah, no problem. Let's see, what are we trying to do here? Well, we can go back to the mud, mud flats and for the entrance of the fetid pool. I think we're near and close to the end here. Let's um, let's actually stop for the day, and uh, we'll call today a success. Uh, thank you for watching and sticking to the end if you did. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more content. Thank you.